one now i normally do this every single month because my products do kind of change up when i'm on my period and some kind of stay consistent as you guys will see throughout the video but then i went ahead and ran the water because for some reason i had to let the water run for like a couple of minutes before i actually get in and now i'm gonna go ahead and tie up my hair because i don't want that to get wet i could have left my bonnet on but the thing is oftentimes when i shower my bonnet on my hair still ends up getting wet and my bonnet ends up like soaking with products but we're gonna go in with these barbie bath bombs i don't know why i'm shaking you guys but these are like these really cute sparkly barbie um bath bombs and they're cherry scented i did get these from tj maxx you guys and look at how it sizzles like i don't know why i did that i could have just dropped it in the shower but i'm a little extra now my skin lately has been acting up so this dove moisture boost is like an in shower moisturizer it's been my best friend as you guys know i pretty much use it in like every single shower routine the last couple of months because my skin yeah this stuff it helps so much just like because all my other products have like a ton of chemicals but i feel like this one because it's not too heavily fragranced it kind of helps then i also found this barbie cherry sugar scrub this was the weirdest and i mean the weirdest scrub texture i've ever had in my entire life like it was fighting me just to grab it out like i don't know if you guys kind of saw but it was literally fighting me to get any other product out and then this clip i accidentally put the wrong top on it but here's like what it looks like it's really pretty in pink it doesn't have a strong scent to it but it's pretty okay so now i'm gonna go ahead and rinse off that shea sugar scrub i give it like honestly like a three out of ten i feel like tree hut dove body polishes all that stuff that i pretty much tried on my channel soap and glory all that stuff is it's way above that unfortunately now i'm going in with the among the clouds bath and body Works shower gel just because i kind of feel like it's on brand i kind of wanted to do like a pink shower routine for like my period and stuff like that and you guys i never used this before so i went ahead today and everyone used to talk about it back in the day about how good it was so today i gave it a try now this is a trigger warning i use a lot of soap so Please do not be triggered by the amount of soap that I use. I use all of it. I just personally, when it's that time of the month for me, I have got to suds it up, okay? Like, I have to use so much. And as y'all can see, it lathered so good. But that's, of course, expected from Bath & Body Works. So, now I'm going to go ahead and wash off that in-shower moisturizer and all that, like, leftover natural oils and things like that that could be left on my body. And this would be so much easier if I had my exfoliating wash rags because they're much longer, but... Don't forget to wash your back, you guys. It helps so much with back knee and stuff like that. Especially if you're like myself and you wash your hair in the shower. Oftentimes, from what I've heard and learned, is that you get back knee from leftover like products on your skin. So now I'm going in with this Frank Body and Shower Moisturizer as well because my skin, like I was telling you guys, it's been acting up. I accidentally wore, well, it wasn't even on accident. I wore it on purpose, but I'm really allergic to fake jewelry and so i love necklaces though so i kept wearing these two necklaces back to back because they were so pretty but now my chest is like it has like that raw feeling because like it itches it has bumps on it so i've been really going in with these in shower moisturizer and between the dove in shower moisturizer and the frank body which you can get at tj maxx i know for a fact i've seen it at um they are amazing i've never heard of frank body before and i'm kind of i don't know if, is it for babies because i went on their website and it keeps talking about babies even on the packaging i don't know if you guys saw it but it was talking about babies and i'm kind of confused <laughs> but regardless like it did a really great job so i'm gonna go ahead and wash that off i feel like you can definitely use this outside the shower too like as a regular lotion just because it definitely had that same consistency as any other lotion i've ever used before now i'm gonna go in with my soap brush and clean this stuff is amazing if you're on your period because it fights odor and any discharge and literally guys i'm going in with a dime size amount because it literally goes the longest way but this stuff this stuff is tea you guys i highly recommend it so now that we're out the shower i'm going in with my clean and clear and i'm gonna moisturize or wash my face this is so important to me when i'm on my period because i break out so much when it's that time of the month and i really need to make sure that i'm not breaking out too much because i have graduation literally on saturday and i do not want to go to graduation with a bunch of pimples on my face <laughs> So I'm making sure to wash my face day in and night. And I really love these facial washers or 
what are they like wash rags because they're so much more gentle on your skin i'm gonna take my hair out and then let's go ahead and get into what i use after the shower okay everyone so i'm gonna share with you guys my period routine for when i get out the shower i've done this like several times but like my routines kind of changed and please excuse the fact that i don't have on any lip gloss but let's go ahead and get into it so whenever i get out the shower the last thing that i do is wash my downstairs air which you guys have already saw but then just because like the flow happens so fast if you know what i mean like from the time you get out the shower from the time you get out put lotion on like for me like i already have blood running down my leg so i go in with the good wipes these are an amazing brand i love these these are ph balanced they're flushable biodegradable hypoallergenic they're really nice i got these in a pack of three at marshall's for 4.49 they do have them at target i know for a fact i don't think i've seen them at marshall's i mean not marshall's at walmart before but i love these so as soon as i get out the shower whenever i make it from the bathroom to my room i go ahead and go in with these just because like i said my flow happens so fast by the time i move from one area to the next i already have my cycle coming back so i go in with these just to get um it pretty much cleansed down there once again and then following that this is something that i'm gonna start consistently doing i use this all the time i talked about it all the time on my channel it's definitely a holy grail but i'm gonna go in with the fork knife from nutriblast these are a suppletory um you insert these up your downstairs area basically it just helps with any odor control and ph balancing and all that good stuff so i go ahead and go in with these because when it's that time of the month i feel like my downstairs area ph is a little thrown off of course naturally your downstairs area when you're on your period it has a little odor and whenever i have these in when it's that time of the month for me i don't experience any of those anymore and then I also go in with these suppletory applicators. These are linked in my Amazon storefront if you guys would like to purchase them. Highly recommend them if you are someone who is experiencing any type of odor during your period. Now, of course, there's other ways to resolve the issue. Maybe drinking more water, maybe watching um, what feminine wash you're using, other things like that, watching your diet. But also, this is a really great thing I would try out as well. Just because for me, like these are a guarantee whether I change my diet or not whether i'm drinking a ton of water or not these to me are a guarantee when it comes to eliminating any odor and just balancing my ph and i feel like the transition from when i'm on my period to when i'm not it just makes the process so much easier because like i was saying before before i did this when i was on my period um when i was on my period i felt like my ph was a little thrown off i had some odor and then whenever my period went away i kind of had a couple of days where like my period was kind of like trying to completely empty yourself but i still had like that smell and this just helps so much in the process i feel like it also helps make my period shorter could be in my head but i really like these i do use these any other time too even when i'm not on my period but especially when i'm on my period that's like the main time i use them now but i highly recommend these like i said if you have any odor or anything like that now this is something new that i just started trying out if you are someone who shaves your downstairs area, we all know whenever you shave your downstairs area, whenever your hair starts to grow back, it kind of itches. And sometimes like the pads and everything, they like kind of give you like a discomfort. For me personally, tampons don't really make me feel or have any discomfort, but whenever my hair is growing back or whenever I wear pads too much and it's like rubbing, I have some like vaginal discomfort. It feels a little dry and things like that. So I just started using this, um, I think I'm saying it right, Intimus by Nutriblast. It has olive oil and tea tree and it is an oil. So I have two of these, but here's what it looks like in the packaging. This stuff is really great. Like I said, if you're experiencing any vaginal discomfort, you can put this in and all around your downstairs area, but not up the hole, um, but like in between your lips and stuff like that. And then here is the spray. But you guys, this has been a life changer when I wear my pads because there's like no more dis or vaginal discomfort and stuff like that. It just makes my experience overall so much easier and it makes sure that it's hydrated. And this is also like pH balancing as well. And then for the pads, it kind of just depends. Now, I am going to start. I used to take this with me everywhere whenever I was on my period. This is the Honey Pot plant derived feminine care sensitive spray they have these at marshall's so i highly recommend any honey pot products that i talked about get them from marshall's and tj maxx because they're so much cheaper but what i like to do is spray this in my pad especially if it has blood in it say i don't have any pads or any extra tampons but as we know like blood once it starts to build up and you're on your period it starts to 
smell like it starts to get more odor just like built on top of more odor and sometimes like i said like i'm human i might not have an, another pad and i might have a ton of blood in it so i go ahead and spray this spray in it and literally it gets rid of the smell i really like it i really enjoy it so this is the sensitive spray and i love the fact that it's sensitive they do have like a calming one which i'm not entirely sure what it's for but this one is really great if you have a sensitive downstairs area really sorry about that and then for my pads now lately my downstairs area like in terms of my flow it's not too heavy so i just tried these out for the first time i think they're called one by poise and they are two in one liners um i get 50 of them i got sent these for free so i'm just like kind of trying them out i'm kind of worried that they might not be enough but i don't know i'm trying these out currently so far so good i like them they're just little panty liners so they're pretty okay okay now for my pads when it comes to sleeping i like to use the honeypot pads because they are super humongous this is the honeypot company overnight herbal infused pads with wings anytime i use these in my sleep i never have any leaks period like they're that good i personally love like the little cooling effect that it has and over time the more and more i've used honeypot pads i'll be honest i can't even feel it anymore um but yeah if you are someone who's experiencing any type of um extreme flow and say whenever you go to sleep you wake up you have blood on your sheets or on your clothing or in your underwear get these and just wear them like regular like even if you're not wearing them overnight i recommend using these because like i'm telling you guaranteed no leaks whatsoever these are really good and like i said i got these from marshall's you guys for 450 which is a great deal i can't you get 12 of them and they last me a really long time and then throughout the day even though like i don't have a heavy flow just because i want to make sure i'm not ruining my underwear or my clothes or just that like i don't get any leaks at all i go in with the super ones same deal i feel like you could also use these overnight if they don't have the overnight ones um the only difference is that this is a three out of four flow in terms of like how much it holds and the overnight is a four out of four but i personally love the both of these they are really amazing and now before we go i'm going to share with you guys what lotions that i use because this is pretty much it for my um period care routine i went ahead and went in i'm trying to find it this is the love beauty and planet shea butter and sandalwood oil body butter this stuff smells so good kind of gives gourmand vibes i just personally really like it a lot it smells super good and it's very pairable i feel like you could honestly wear this with any scent and it would go amazing or pair it with any oil and it would go amazing but personally for me i'm gonna pair it with this vanilla just got this you guys i watched or i talked about it in my last video the like a hundred dollar tj maxx haul this jones new york what is it rare vanilla and blossom so freaking good it is literally one of the best vanilla scents i've ever owned but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did please be sure to show me some love and give me a like down below and i'll see you guys in my next video